In this video, you'll learn best practices for locking fiscal periods to ensure that information and transactions flow smoothly through the ERP system. You'll also learn how to set up errors and warnings to specify what happens when someone tries to enter a transaction for a module with a locked fiscal period. In Common Services, you can use the fiscal calendar to lock and unlock fiscal years and periods for each module your company uses to process transactions. This flexibility allows you to lock periods for operations modules that generate transactions before locking the financial modules that receive these transactions. Before you begin locking fiscal periods, it's very important to know how transactions flow through the ERP system and to know what happens when someone enters a transaction for a locked period and module. Let's take a closer look at what happens when you lock fiscal periods. You can use the Fiscal Calendar screen to create a new fiscal year. Set a fiscal year to inactive to prevent any posting to that year. Lock and unlock adjustment periods and closing periods and lock and unlock fiscal periods and years by module. Locking a fiscal period for a module affects only entry and posting of transactions within that module. However, many of the transactions you post in Sage ERP ACBAC modules create transactions for other modules. For example, creating and posting batches in operation modules such as order entry, purchase orders, and inventory control will also create batches in financial modules such as accounts payable, accounts receivable, and general ledger. If you lock financial modules before locking operations modules, you may not be able to post batches that flow from operations to financial modules. Whether or not you can post batches depends on settings in the company profile, as you'll see later in this video. For this reason, we recommend that you lock periods for operations modules before financial modules. Because Bank Services both receives and generates transactions for other modules, such as AR, AP, and Payroll, we recommend that when you lock Bank Services, you also lock modules that integrate directly with it, AP, AR, and Payroll, all at the same time. You should not lock Bank Services if checks and receipts are still being processed to the period and other modules. Similarly, you should not lock AR, AP, or Payroll if you need to post bank reconciliations or reversals. You should also make sure you create and post all outstanding GL batches for a fiscal period before you lock it for GL. In summary, remember to lock operations modules before financial modules. When locking bank services, lock modules that integrate directly with it, AP, AR, and payroll, and create and post all outstanding GL batches for a fiscal period before you lock it for GL. You should not lock bank services if checks and receipts are still being processed to the period in other modules. And if you still need to post bank reconciliations or reversals, do not lock AR, AP, or payroll. If someone tries to enter a transaction for a module with a locked fiscal period, they'll see an error or a warning message, depending on how you set up your system. If you are authorized, in Common Services, you can use the Company Profile screen to set up these errors and warnings. In Common Services, open Company Profile. On the Options tab, use the Locked Fiscal Period list to specify what happens when someone tries to enter a transaction for a module with a locked fiscal period. If you select Error, users will see an error message and they will be prevented from creating and posting the transaction. It is very important to know that if you select Warning, users will see a warning message, but they will still have the option of proceeding to create and post the transaction even though you have locked the fiscal period in the fiscal calendar for this module. 
we recommend that you select Error and then save your selection. For more information about setting up fiscal period locking, see the System Manager Help for Fiscal Calendar.